Hi, I'm Nathan with Make. Our latest weekend project is a reboot of the classic, simple and cheap, dark detecting LED circuit. As made popular by our friends at Evil Mad Scientist, and by other makers over the years who have experimented with how to make an LED light up when the lights go out. Simply put, the dark detecting LED circuit switches on an LED when ambient light levels dip below a certain threshold. You've probably seen garden lights that perform this function, but none with this few components. This project is great for beginners and enthusiasts alike because the circuit only requires a few common components many of which you might already have lying around your workshop. It's a fun and easy project to build, and you can quickly iterate the circuit and change its design to suit your needs. You'll require the following parts for this build. You should be able to pick them up at your local Radio Shack or purchase them online. You'll also need just a few simple tools. The circuit operates such that when the light hits the photo transistor, activating that section of the circuit, there is no power flowing through the collector emitter junction of the transistor, which keeps the LED switch off. However, when ambient light levels dip below a certain threshold, power freely flows through the transistor's collector emitter junction, switching on the LED, which shines brightly. In this sense, the transistor acts like a switch that intuitively knows when the room goes dark and turns the light on. Breadboard the circuit to get a basic idea of its operation. See the project page for more details on the transistor and how to identify its three leads. Remember, while a CR2032 battery and two AA batteries will both provide three volts, they each supply a different internal resistance and a different electric charge measured in amp hours. Experiment with the parts you have to better understand how the output and longevity of the LED is affected by the components in the circuit. When you're ready, solder the circuit together. You can either use a scrap piece of PCB, a PCB cut to size, or you can try point-to-point -point soldering. Here's a version of the circuit on a small round PCB that fits comfortably over a CR2032 battery holder. With everything soldered together, you can encase the circuit in U-mold, a type of plastic that you can experiment with in the safety of your workshop. Leave the phototransistor peeking out so it will still accurately detect ambient light levels. Super glue a magnet to the battery's clip. And now, you have a dark detecting LED throwy. Now, how might you integrate a solar cell that both knows when the sun goes down and charges a battery? Or what about using a jewel thief to sip life from a dead battery? Head on over to the project page to share your ideas, tips, and tricks for how to take this circuit to the next level.